everybody, it's Scott Omato. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install 114 plus Forge mod packs in the AT launcher. Okay, the AT launcher is a pretty nice launcher now that it's updated to be able to uh, handle curse packs and curse mods and, you know, to create your own packs or browse for existing mod packs. Some of the most popular ones are on the launcher already. Um, or you can add vanilla packs. You could do forge packs. You can do fabric packs. Uh, very, very nice options here. Clean interface. Um, so let's look at how to do a curse pack. So basically, we want to go to the Curse Forge site here and browse for a mod pack that we'd like to add. Now I'm going to do a small one here uh, just to save some time. So I'll do this oddly vanilla pack. Okay. So we need to copy the URL to our clipboard and then go back to AT Launcher and it'll recognize that that is on our clipboard. So here I am in the packs tab here. So I'll choose this add curse pack button at the top. Okay, and you can see it already pre-fills the curse URL that I copied. Now, if you downloaded the zip file from curse from the file section, you can browse for it here and add it there as well. But we just hit the add button to uh, get the window and then it'll pop up a window letting us know which version that we want to install if there's more than one if we want to lock the pack or whatever and so then we can install it so you'll see it's downloading all the resources and everything that it needs uh, to install the pack again this is a smaller pack uh, so it shouldn't take very long and we'll let it do it now you can see it's installing forge now so it's installing the version of forge needed for the pack and then i do believe also on first installation or first launch you'll uh, have to do some things as well all right so it says the pack's been installed you could find it in the instances tab so we go to the instances tab over here and there it is oddly vanilla okay so we can uh edit mods if we want disable them select them or whatever if we didn't lock the pack uh, we can also add mods to it and it gives us a uh, ability to search for mods and then choose to add or you can view that mod page on curseforge which is pretty nice okay uh, but let's just accept the base pack we may want to go into some settings if we need to adjust our memory uh, here it's saying initial memory ram that's definitely not enough uh, so we can adjust that i'll make it 2048 would be fine probably for this pack and that's the minute the initialized but then you can set the maximum uh, so you have a global setting where you can get six gigs as well um, if you need to choose a different java or put in java arguments or whatever you can do that here or you can accept the global ones which you would do in settings under java minecraft uh, there's the settings there now it goes without saying that you actually need a minecraft account you can configure that in the accounts tab you can have more than one that you could switch between uh, but you need to have that account and logged into it all right so back in our instances window all we'll need to do is hit play and then it'll do the launch not showing the log and all that but which is good because you can see your progress and what's happening and then of course if you get an error error then you can upload the log uh, or you could copy the log and put it on your own uh, pasty or paste bin or something like that so that you could share it with uh, developers to let them know what a problem could be so uh, very nice features and then of course you have access to all of the social media links for the at launcher here in this log window um, again a lot of stuff that's expected but pretty nicely put together and this is a a uh, pretty uh, stable launcher that's been around for quite a while, but it's only recently, I believe as of 1.13, updated to have the ability to uh, install these newer versions of Forge, okay? So it's a really good option if you don't want to play on the Twitch launcher for some reason, or if you're on Linux. It's important that this launcher works on Linux as well, uh, whereas there is no Twitch uh, launcher on Linux. So that's a good option for you to play any mod pack or newer mod packs in particular, be them Fabric or Forge. Okay, so we're about finished with our launch here. Everything seems to be going well. Of course, we're going to see the amount of memory and stuff that's been allocated and how much we're using. 
So you could make a decision to adjust your RAM by looking at that message as well. So that's quite nice. Anyway, so we had a launch on the pack. Everything's good. So we have now installed a 114 for mod pack forge mod pack uh, using the at launcher and it's always available here in your instances for you to manage so you could clone make another copy of it you could delete it um, you can open the curse forge if you need to check for updates or something like that on it um, so that's a good option now if you want to update this pack it is a good idea to go ahead and clone it and save your backups and then you can um, manage those but you could go to the folder open the folder and see where all the mods are and these these would be your saves so if you're updating the pack you would want to copy your saves obviously then if you've changed any configs you'd want to compare that to their change list and then update it but anyway very nice features in this launcher and it is excellent for cross-platform use windows mac and linux and i hope you enjoyed this video this is scott omato thanks so much for watching guys and have a great day see you in the next one bye bye